GoPro. It was fine a while ago, okay? I let it slide. How is this still happening in 2022? I, I need a minute. <laughs> Let's go. New GoPro just got in. This is the GoPro 11. 11. I've been using the 9. I got this for two reasons. Better field of view, allegedly. And better battery life, allegedly. So in this video, I'm going to test both of those against the GoPro 9, riding the 72 volt Suron. So I got the GoPro 11, two sets of the Enduro batteries. So this is four in total. And then also because I was saying I really want more field of view on these cameras is I actually got the max lens mod. Let's test this out. I cannot wait. Let's go. Well, I had COVID in the first part of this video, tested positive later that day, and spent the whole week really sick doing this. <coughs> and now I'm finally healthy enough to finish this video, or really start it, and test out this GoPro 11 on the Suron. Let's go. Here we are, 4K 60 wide on the GoPro Hero 11. Now I'll never ride with the wide field of view because it's not enough. So I'm gonna test this field of view out with an unboxing care package from Suron, okay? First of all, this video is not sponsored by GoPro and I've never been sponsored by Suron. So getting a little care package from Suron is super cool. I've only opened it to the point where I saw this hat and knew what the, was in the box. Suron socks, light B cross country race. That is a weird text to have on there. No idea what this is. A little fanny pack. Some kind of rag here. Yes! All right, I'm on the side of the road and I'm in the GoPro Hero 9 Black in 4K 30 Super View. The reason I'm starting like this is because this is what I've been filming with before I upgraded to the Hero 11 Black. This is what almost all my videos look like, so I'm gonna start like this so that you can compare it. I also haven't ridden in nine days. It's a great camera. I've been loving it ever since I upgraded from the 7. But I always want more field of view. And what, what I mean by that is I want you to see more of the bike and I want you to see more of the sky. So the reason I upgraded to the 11 is so that I can increase that field of view. Here we go. Going from the Hero 9 up two generations to the Hero 11 Black. Three, two, one. There we go. GoPro Hero 11 Black in 4K 60 frames per second super view. Now the GoPro Hero 9 which I'm upgrading from only does 30 frames per second in super view. So the 60 frames is a nice upgrade. Really curious how it looks. Last ride with the stock Suron motor. Upgrading to the KO soon. I want to hear all your thoughts down below. I'm making this video mostly so I can get your feedback. And just for the sake of comparison, I'm gonna go back to the GoPro Hero 9, just so you can see the upgrade side-by-side -side super view from GoPro Hero 9 to GoPro Hero 11 in bad lighting. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we are back in the GoPro Hero 9. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. Hopefully the 11 is noticeably better uh, or else the upgrade wasn't worth it. But this is the Hero 9 in similar settings. Let's go back to the 11 and continue the test. Okay, we're back. GoPro Hero 11 Black, 4K60 Super View. This should be like the standard activity mode, but the reason I upgraded to the 11, and really the only reason, was for the mode I'm about to test right now. Now, the Hyper View is supposed to increase your field of view by like two millimeters, uh, which should make a big difference, and uh, it better, because I bought, literally, this is why I bought this camera. I want more field of view. I want you to see more bike. I want you to see more sky. So let's go ahead. Moment of truth. Clap transition to 4K 60 frames in hyper view. Three, two, one. Here we go. How does it look? Is the world opened up now? Do you see more bike? Do you see more sky? I'm really curious how this looks. A little nervous. I hope it looks good. More bike action, more sky action. Wonder how it looks in the wheelies. Does it look faster too? I feel like with the greater field of view, everything should look faster. Now, there is one more setting after this that I really want to try, and it's the max lens mod setting. And, and it's actually a new lens that you screw onto the GoPro to supposedly increase the field of view without causing like this kind of distortion. I can't keep sitting here while I talk. I don't know, I think when you're riding straight, it looks really good with the hyper view. A lot of field of view, you can see a ton of stuff, but only when you're going straight. When you start turning your head, 
It's goofy. What do you think? Please let me know down below. Fortunately, there's one more setting and it's with the max lens mod. It's that fisheye lens I bought for the GoPro. It screws right on and it's supposed to increase your field of view but minimize the distortion. So let's go ahead and try that on right now. Let me pass this Tesla. Easy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Max lens mod. Okay, I've got the max lens mod on, but help me understand this. You buy a fisheye lens for the GoPro with the intention of maximizing your field of view, the max lens. You put the max lens on, like I just did, I I'm walking through what my experience just was. It maxes out at 2.7K, 60 frames. So it's the same resolution as the GoPro 9. And it doesn't go into hyper view, it goes into what they call max super view, which is less field of view from the numbers than the hyper view. Now, let's see if the distortion's gone when we turn looking around. Does it warp like it did before? What's the point of buying a lens if it decreases your resolution and it decreases, <laughs> I can't believe it, and it decreases your field of view. Okay, I just reviewed the footage. I've still got the max lens on in 2.7K, 60 frames and max super view. And it looks like shit. I'm gonna be totally honest, the distortion's gone, the distortion that you get in the hyperview. But besides that, what did I pay $100 for to get lower resolution and like not even good field of view? And it's, I know this is gonna get scratched. You just look at it, you know it's gonna get scratched, you know you're gonna have to replace it. Not a fan of the max lens mod. There is one feature I wanna test out and that's horizon leveling. So you see when I turn, my head turns and the horizon turns with it, everything's turning. Here we are, we've got the horizon lock on, or horizon leveling. Let's see. My head's turning a, a whole lot. Exactly like it was before. How's the horizon looking? I honestly don't care how the horizon looks. I hate this lens. It's pissing me off for some reason. The GoPro would sell a lens called the Max lens, and then it ends up minimizing everything you want it to do. <laughs> it's not as much field of view as the hyperview. It's not as high resolution as hyperview. What is the point of this lens? And don't tell me it's horizon leveling. Look at this. Well, there's nothing to look at. It's probably level. That's boring. I don't care about that. I'm very disappointed in this GoPro. Come on. I'm going to do one more comparison between the max lens mod and the normal lens in hyperview just to give it one last chance at redemption, but I'm probably going to return it when I get home. Okay, I've got this beautiful wall with straight lines so we can see some of the distortion. This is the max lens mod. I'm going to squat right here. And without moving, I'm gonna change the lens back to the stock lens and we'll see what the difference looks like. We're gonna go from the max lens to the stock lens in three, two, one. Like, are you kidding me? That is a world of difference. This is the stock lens versus the max lens. I don't see where the max, where the maximum is coming from because this is way more. Now, now the benefit of the wall is coming in. You can see there's distortion, right? That's okay. I mean, it's not okay once you start turning, right? Look at the bike. Look at the bike. Oh, that looks terrible. If you're just looking straight ahead, it's great. You start turning, ooh. So now you don't get that with the max lens. That's the one redeeming factor of the max lens. But honestly, I don't think that's enough because besides the distortion, this looks great. This is really good field of view. I'm gonna need to see this on a computer to give any more opinions. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm in hyperview. I'm holding the GoPro Hero 9 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it right, right up where the 11 is and you'll be able to see the difference between the highest field of view on the 11 versus the highest field of view on the 9 when they're looking at exactly the same thing. That's about as close as they're gonna get to each other. Really curious what the difference is. On the field of view on both of these. I honestly can't see anything. I'm fully blocking my face. So again, this is the last day that I've got the stock motor and the BAC controller on this bike. 
I'm about to upgrade it with the KO system. Finally got here in the mail. Well, it actually got here the day that the GoPro got here. But I haven't been able to use it yet. Because I got COVID. COVID sucked, by the way, but it only lasted like <clears throat> four or five days. And now it's kind of just lingering. Now I kind of just feel like, ugh. Now GoPro, every time they come out with the camera, they claim it has better battery life. I'm not seeing much better battery life on this. They said it could be up to 30% more. But hey, you know, you know as a fact when they say up to, that could mean anything less than 30% more. And they would still be technically telling the truth. So haven't really seen a increase in the quality of the battery life yet, unfortunately, because I did buy four of the high performance batteries or whatever. They've got better performance in the cold. But who, who's in the cold? It's, is it cold out here? You see any snow? I need, I need performance in the heat. And I think a lot of people can agree with me that GoPros suck when it's hot. They glitch out. So here's my review of the GoPro Hero 11 Black. It turns on quick and the screen is responsive, which are good things, but those are the only good things about this camera. The side door is too hard to open. It requires a fingernail, but it also requires enough pressure to break a fingernail, so I don't know what they expect us to do. The batteries are supposedly better in cold weather, but there were no improvements for hot weather, and the battery life seems to be about the same, so nothing to get stoked on. The max lens. What is the point of it? Low resolution. Grainy image quality, not maximized field of view compared to the Hyperview. What is the point of buying a lens, putting it on the GoPro to get less resolution, less field of view? I, I, I'm returning mine. I don't understand why it's a product sold by GoPro. Now for the workflow, GoPro's biggest blind spot. All I wanted to do was add a telemetry overlay in the video to show miles per hour. A couple years ago, you could use the GoPro desktop app, but they discontinued it. So now you have to use their phone app, which is a red flag. You need to connect the phone to your GoPro, download the videos to the app, add the telemetry overlay, download the videos again now to your camera roll. This takes a ton of time. Now they're in your camera roll. Now you have to export them to your laptop to actually edit them. There's so much importing, downloading, exporting. It is ridiculous. And once you've finally gotten the clips to your computer with the telemetry overlay, they look like this. It's so blurry, it's unusable. What's the point of filming in 4K if it goes through the GoPro software and it comes out 1080p? And this is no matter how I download, transfer, whatever these files, I tried every possible way and it always ends up blurry. Now get this, I called GoPro technical support. I wasn't expecting any help and I certainly didn't get any. I called them, the representative, and get this, had the audacity to tell me that my computer can't handle 4K video. I have a 2022 Mac Studio. It can handle nine simultaneous streams of 8K ProRes video. And this representative had the audacity to tell me that 4K video was going too high. Now I know it's not my computer because by the time the videos are out of the GoPro app and into my camera roll, they're already compressed. The GoPro Quick app is clearly compressing the quality of these videos. And GoPro gives you no option to do it any other way except via the cloud. So me and the GoPro representative over the phone tried it via the cloud. I uploaded them with the telemetry overlay to the cloud. They show in the cloud with the telemetry overlay in the thumbnail, but when you download those videos from the cloud to use them in a video, the telemetry overlay isn't there. <laughs> First of all, GoPro offering exclusively a phone app means they expect their users to have 20 to 100 gigabytes of free storage on their phone at any given time. Who has that? I barely have enough storage on my phone to take a picture of the shit I just took, and if I did, it would look better than anything that came from the MaxLens mod. Whose grandpa at GoPro made the call thinking, oh, you know, these youths are always on their Instasnap and their Tic Tac. Oh, let's, let's make them use their internet phones to edit videos. No, you need to retire. You're too old to be making these decisions. Bring back the desktop app. What is pro about a workflow that requires your phone? There's nothing pro about that. <sighs> I had to pay 150 US dollars for a third party software that lets me put the telemetry overlay on the GoPro footage from my desktop. Something that GoPro let you do five years ago, but for some reason, maybe budget cuts or something, they discontinued the desktop app. 
Now this $150 software did work. It's what I used in the video. You can see the overlays, they look pretty good. All in all, I think it took three hours to render the footage for this video with the telemetry overlay when it should have taken 20 minutes through the old GoPro desktop app. Oh, right, and one more thing. The first video I tried to take on the GoPro 11 Black, I got the screen of death. The gray screen of death on the first time using the camera. This is 2022. This is the GoPro Hero 11 Black. I used the SD card that came in the box after formatting it in the camera. And I'm getting the screen of death on the first video, GoPro. It was fine a while ago, okay, I let it slide. How is this still happening in 2022? Like, as always, thank you so much for watching. As I do. Yeah.